Hello everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube video again. Um, so this is a video uh, about social psychology and um, the topic for today would be cognitive dissonance. Um, so you have a lot of reason for understanding cognitive dissonance um, because after you understand the concept, so you will know a lot of um, uh, business people, um, they really want to freak the, the customers in terms of this and then somehow they are going to cheat you. Um, by making you uh, experience quality dissonance. So that's why if you know and then you understand how to um, you feel or so how to protect yourself um, for spending um, too much uh, of your, your money and then you can save more. All right, um, before you start, we, we start um, this video. So if you've not yet subscribed my channel, please do so. Um, um, please also share and like my video to your, to, to your friends. Um, so it's good to click the um, small bell button um, just near um, the subscribe button and then you will get uh, my very very instant notification once I have new video upload. Alright, um, then what is the meaning of cognitive dissonance from this the screen you will know? Um, so this is an example. Um, for instance, it's a small girl. Um, the small girl realized liars are bad people. Of course, everyone knows liars are bad people. But at the same time, the small girl realized um, she just lied. Okay, so at that moment, um, people experience something we call quality dissonance. Quality dissonance means so um, our belief and our action actually inconsistent. Okay, so we will feel very, very bad and then we will feel very discomfortable. And then according to quality dissonance, according to a lot of study, human being, we have to find a solution for, for, for solving this kind of um, um, dissonance or inconsistence between our thoughts and our behavior. So then we have two ways to go. First, we have to adjust our belief or we adjust our uh, behavior. That's why for this video, for this example, the small girl probably will have two ways to go. First, she stopped lying. Okay, so once she stopped lying, so the behavior and then the belief consistent. But a, a lot of people, so um, they won't choose the first way, they choose the second. The second way will be the behavior will remain and then they tend to adjust the belief. They will think, liar, not necessarily bad people. Sometimes people have to lie because we have certain good reason, good intention, right? So you feel um, this can't be really pretty similar, all right? Um, so let's take a look of another example, and then you will have a better understanding of uh, cognitive dissonance. Okay, so this is about smoking cigarette. Okay, so for instance, someone believe, I believe this, you, you can find um, everyone um, with this belief, but why people keep on uh, smoking? So this is the, the, the problem. All right, so for instance, um, people believe um, smoking cigarettes is unhealthy. Everyone believe, everyone know uh, smoking cigarette is unhealthy, it's bad, right? But at the same time, the smoker realized um, he or she still smoke. Okay, so that's why for the person, uh, he had a, a thought like, I smoke cigarettes. Okay, so that's why in terms of cognitive dissonance, so some unpleasant intent to stay and aware that belief and action are inconsistent. So this is the, 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 the moment the person feel not, not very comfortable. This is, or we say like this equilibrium um, um, condition, right? So that's why we have to find a solution. We have to find a way out to solve this kind of inconsistency. Okay, so that's why some people go upward, change action, change action. So the person will, will, will do like smoking cigarettes and healthy. That's why I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. So he goes quit smoking. Okay, so of course, everyone wants to see uh, something like this. And then um, if this is a, the, um, the uh, the consequence. So I would say the, um, the government um, um, quit cigarettes campaign would be very, very successful, but not always true. Okay, so why? Because people always tend to use the second changing belief. Changing belief is more easier than changing action. You know, quit smoking is very, very long term and you have to put a lot of effort. So that's why a lot of people, they won't uh, uh, choose um, changing action. Um, or, or, or possibilities. Okay, so they do, they do downward, downward, change belief. They will think the research on smoking is not conclusive. They disbelieve um, the, the, the slogan, right? Um, smoking is bad, smoking is healthy. They don't believe that. They tend to believe oh, smoking can be good. Or they will say a lot of people keep on smoking, but they can keep their, their health condition pretty well. Okay, so that's why the person change the belief. Then they start to think, oh, um, smoking not necessarily that bad. So that's why 
he continued to smoke cigarettes and then he feel comfortable. You know, a lot of people at the beginning, um, especially we are doing something not very consistent with our moral system, our belief, okay? But of course, uh, when you start doing something like this, changing your behavior always a lot difficult um, than changing belief. Oh, sorry, uh, um, changing action a lot uh, uh, more difficult than you change your belief. Change your belief, you can, you can change uh, your belief in like, a few seconds but changing action can be pretty long term okay so that's why you know why some people they keep on doing something not very good for their life not very good for their health but um this is um pretty uh, makes sense uh, because when you got like a habit for doing something wrong so this is very very difficult to change but change your belief like um a few second things right so this is already everything i want you to know um about quality distance okay and then thank you for watching see you next time